One new brawler, 3D maps, and some brawlers receiving 3D mo remodels. Possibly Mortis's hat? I mean, this is some pretty sweet stuff, but is it everything? Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time, and it is time to brawl. Now, disclaimer, this video was actually kind of a little bit impromptu. I actually was not planning on recording a video yesterday. Typically, I try to reserve Sundays for like some family time, but um, I, I really wanted to come out and just thank everybody for your massively insane support. I hit 50,000 subscribers yesterday. That's, that's just seriously insane. I am so incredibly thankful for all of your support and I wanted to let you guys know and that is what has actually caused me to want to actually do this video for you guys is just mostly to say, hey guys, I love you. Love your support. Thank you so much. Now, I am going to be doing some sneak peeks for Brawl Stars. This video is not a sneak peek. Just want to be very clear here. But I did want to talk about a couple of things. Oh, first of all, there were a couple of spoilers that I did not mention in my, my Brawl Talk spoilers video that I hadn't noticed yet. First of all, if you actually watch the clip, you'll see that Frank had a hat with a, a Brawl Stars logo on it. I'm really hoping that that is some future Brawl Stars merch that we can buy. Because if that's the case... I'm so excited because that's that's just epic. Um, also, it looks like they actually changed the gem the the mine in gem grab so that it will go purple for like two or three seconds before a gem will pop out. Then it will go black and wait for a little bit until a gem is about to come out. So you can actually look at the map and see, hey, when is the next gem going to pop out and use that to your advantage without having to count to seven seconds every single time. Oh, additionally, as far as some spoilers go, I've been having a lot of people ask when this update is going to happen and whether it will happen with the Brawl Stars global release or something like that, but Ryan actually went onto the Discord, the, the community manager of Brawl Stars went onto the Brawl Stars subreddit's official um, Brawl Stars Discord server, and he let everybody know that this would be coming as an update before global release. So global release is nine days from this video, and we know that it will be happening before then, so we don't have an actual answer as to when this update is actually going to land, but we know it will be before the global release, which is happening on the 12th, which is next Wednesday, so my guess is like later this week or early next week. As soon as I do have information though, I will give it to you guys. Now, before I start today's video, I did want to make one thing very, very clear, very, very clear, and that is that I am in no way trying to say that if we only got what Brawl Stars leaked or they talked about in their Brawl Talk that I would be unhappy or if you frustrated with the Brawl Stars developer team, okay? They have had um, there's so much going into this update that this update might not necessarily feel like a huge update, like, hey, we're getting new maps, and those new maps have two more tiles to both sides, so some of the maps will be a little bit different, but the maps are going to be the same, and we just spent a ton of time, like, redoing the artwork, um, which, that's not, like, actual content that changes um, you know, like it's, it doesn't add gameplay to the game. It just kind of refreshes things. That is huge. And it takes a ton of time and a ton of effort to put that into that. And that is necessary for the game to go global. Like that's a huge thing. There's millions of people are going to see Brawl Stars for the very first time ever here in a week or two. Um, and they want the game to be as great looking as possible. So I'm not saying that I would be unhappy if that was everything that's going to be happening here. Because what are we looking at? We're looking at uh, one new brawler. We're looking at 3D maps, some remodels for six of the brawlers, and possibly Mortis's hat. Like, that's, that's all that was really announced, which is, you know, not a ton. Now, on top of that, guys, I, I can't even tell you all of the things that Brawl Stars and the developer team has had to work on and get ready in preparation for a global release. We know that they have had to incorporate new languages into Brawl Stars. That takes time. That takes effort. That takes programming. I don't know how long. I don't know that it would take a ton of time. They probably outsource other people doing like the language translations and things like that. But it takes time. It takes effort. And that's just one thing. They, they have to prepare servers. Um, they have to prepare so many different things that I can't even think of and I don't want to think of because that's <laughs> I'm, I'm not a game developer that's not my job so today's video is to talk about a very real possibility that we will be getting more in the update not to say that if we don't get more that I'll be unhappy but 
that I'm hopeful that we'll get some more in the, the next update. I, that being said, I don't want to overhype things. The last thing I want to do is say, hey guys, Brawl Stars is coming out with more content than what they said in Brawl Stars. And then for everybody to be like, ah, oh, Kairos, come on, you know, and for them people to get upset. Don't do that, guys. This is just some things that I'm thinking about in my mind and I wanted to share them. Like I said, this is a very impromptu video. Just wanted to share some thoughts with you or some thoughts with you. Okay, so first of all, um, I wanted to take a look at how long it has been since we have received very real content uh, being added into the game, okay? So two months ago was the most recent update to Brawl Stars, and we got a Mortis 3D rework in skin. We got um, 15 new maps, which that is content, that absolutely is, but most of them were, in fact, all of them, almost all of them were community-made maps. Like, it didn't take somebody's time to actually go in and think about them. They just had to take the time to actually convert them and put them into the game, which I imagine doesn't take as much time. I don't know. I know that it does take time, but, you know, I'm not going to count that as, like, game-changing new content. We did get some minor quality of life stuff. We got Supercell ID, which is also something that had to be done. Took some time, but wasn't really a game changer for Brawl Stars. Additionally, they made some economy changes. They've removed ads from the game, and they made some balance changes, which that takes a little bit of time as well. But we, the, the only real content that was added to Brawl Stars was the event modifiers. We got four event modifiers, and those did that. That's new content, and that did take some time for them to balance and test and play t and play around with. And but event modifiers was the only real content change, and it wasn't even that big of an event content. All they did is they just took game modes that we already have, and they didn't change into those game modes or anything like that. They just added a couple of different events that kind of switch things up, which is fun. And that does change things, but it's not a huge content change. So that was the last update two months ago. Um, back in July was another update when they released Android. And that was also not a video, not, not an update where we received new content per se. It was just, hey, we got Android now, which is awesome and epic, but that wasn't new content for the previous players. It was just a whole lot of new content for Android players. <laughs> it was in June, six months ago, that we received some more content from Brawl Stars. Okay, we had gems in boxes, which isn't very hard for them to put into. We got four new skins, we had balance changes, some small academy changes, they added ads at that point. Also at this point, they added duo showdown into the game, which that's not that different because we already had showdown. They just had to make showdown available for duo showdown. And then they also added spectating, which takes some time. And then also Robo Rumble maps were randomly generated. So it used to be that you had two different types of Robo Rumble maps and now they just made it so that they were randomly generated. That was six months ago. And even this update though, they did have new duo showdown and they changed Robo Rumble and they added spectating. Spectating was definitely an important feature that they had to, to uh, put in there to try and prepare for global. Even then though, that wasn't very much new content per se. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's been six months of updates where we haven't had a whole lot of content. So, six months ago, what has Supercell been doing? Um, not like, I'm not like accusing them of not doing anything, okay? That's not the purpose of this goal or of this video at all. But what have they been doing? So they went on a vacation for one month. That is uh, Finnish Law that every employee has to go on vacation for a month, uh, which is funny to me, but you know, it's not how we do things in the United States. I wish that's how we did things in the United States, but that's one month. So that means that since then, there's been one month gone that they have not been able to work on Brawl Stars at all. So five months, and the only thing that they added in the last update was 15 new maps, really? I mean, you know, they added Supercell ID. There were some things that they've done. It's just, just not new content. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about some theories of thought, some thoughts that I have. Now, they very well might just release Leon with this update as it lands, but I think that they are either going to be releasing more immediately or they're going to have some planned. Uh, because it's been six months since we've had any new brawlers, and there's 20, there will be 22 brawlers in the game, and the game has been out for a year and a half. Like now, let's actually talk about what I think Supercell has been doing. In the most recent community roundtable, um, where the community actually like asked the developer team and a bunch of questions, and Lex and I actually came from Finland to actually go and be there with the developer team, um, it was very obvious that when they were releasing the most recent update, that they were like saying, "Hey, 
We know that this isn't a lot. We are focusing on building up a pipeline of content that we can give you guys if the game goes global. Well, now we know that the game is going global. That means that if they're holding up to what they have said, they have a pipeline of content ready to give to us. What will we see with this update? We know that we will see one new brawler. We know that we will see 3D maps, which are really, really cool and epic. But is that everything? In previous Brawl Talks, typically what they do is they fly out a YouTuber and they do a little bit of an interview and then they release the update like a month later. Uh, and that means that the Brawl Talk, when it was filmed, was actually before they had finalized everything, before they've added everything they, into the update that they wanted to do. It was very, at least when I went, it was a very, very, very rough idea of what they were going to release. This Brawl Talk was very different, okay? Because Supercell now has a studio inside their headquarters, which does allow them to film these types of things and get them ready much sooner. But here's the deal. They still have to worry about like translating things into different languages and stuff. So when was this most recent Brawl Talk filmed? I would guess minimum at least a week ago, maybe even up to a month ago. I don't know, but those are some guesses that I have. And that means that if this Brawl Talk is like any of the other Brawl Talks in the past, they will have additional content to share with this update that they did not share on the Brawl Talk. The Brawl Talk is kind of like, hey, let's get people excited, let's get them hyped, let's give them a little bit of a taste of what's going on, and then once they're ready to release the update, that's when they're like, okay, YouTubers, go share your sneak peeks and go cover all the new stuff so that everybody knows everything that we're going to be seeing in the update. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I talked about not only what we knew was coming in the update, but then also quickly talked about some ideas or things that I strongly believe are coming to Brawl Stars. And I'm not gonna cover everything, but I will at least go through them, okay? So the first thing I talked about was uh, reworking some of the 3D models. I did guess Shelly, Nita, Bull, Brock, and Barley, as well as uh, Dynamite getting 3D models reworked, and those were correct. I also guessed on El Primo, Poco, Ricochet, Piper, Pam, Terra, and Spike. I think since they were already redoing 3D models that they would have told us if those brawlers, I don't think we'll be seeing those 3D models yet. Um, I also suggested they would be doing some balance changes. I thought some new skins. I thought they would do some improvements on the servers. They also thought that they would do some matchmaking improvements. And then also they would be adding spectating into the game. Or not spectating, sorry. I said spectating. What I meant was replays into the game. Then on top of that, I also speculated on additional things. First of all, I never would have guessed that they would be adding 3D maps into the game. That was That's a super cool surprise right there. But I also thought that they would be bringing possibly changes to the event rotation. Maybe a new tutorial being added to Brawl Stars, band mail, uh, brawler voices, and then new brawlers as well. Additionally, I don't know that we would see a new game mode, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something. It has been a very, very long time since we actually got a new game mode being added into Brawl Stars. The last one was Duo Showdown, but before that, the last actual addition for like a game modes was uh, Robo Rumble and Boss Fight, which happened almost a year ago, which is a long time ago. So, and then on top of that, the most recent competitive game mode uh, other than Duo Showdown was actually Brawl Ball, and that was added over a year ago, as soon after Brawl Stars was first released, so I would not be surprised if we saw some type of new event rotation. They did actually change Heist to be, instead of like offense versus defense, they changed it to be like equally offense and defense, you know, safe on both sides type of thing. But yeah, um, if you were to ask me, is everything that we talked about in Brawl Talk gonna be what's coming to the update? I don't think so. I think we're gonna be seeing some new stuff. I definitely think we can expect something. And what, once again, I don't want to overhype things, but this is just some speculation on my part. And um, I wanted to quickly throw this video together for you guys because I wanted to thank you so much for all of your support on my channel. I cannot believe I'm at 50,000 subscribers. This is so incredible and a really great, uh, incredible opportunity um, for me in my own life where I have decided to go uh, full time with Brawl Stars. And I just cannot do it without you guys. And and I really appreciate you guys, and I'm so thankful that you guys like watching my videos. Anyways, let me know what you think is coming into the Brawl Stars update other than what we know is coming because of the Brawl Talk. I am I do, I really want to know if you guys have an idea or something that you want to be added into the game, put it in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for going the extra mile and helping support my channel. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.